Hello, my name is George Stuppy. Welcome to my dental practice. We want to install some mercury filters in our vacuum lines. The filter we're going to be using here is very easy to install and it's called the simple one. I'm going to show you the contents uh, of the package that you, you parts that you receive when you uh, open up the mercury filter box. We have, of course, the filter sitting right here, all right? And we have some tubing and pipe connectors over here on this side. And each one has uh, separate little caps. I'll show you how those are going to be used. We're only going to be using one set of these to, be, to fit our pipes. And I'm going to set these aside. And I'm going to set these aside. And basically now, this is all we're going to be doing here is using these two pipe connectors, these two caps, and uh, tubing. And uh, what I'm going to do first of all is to put on the end cap. I don't need that for the installation, but we certainly will when we replace it, so we don't want to lose it. We're going to push it right on the end of this. And the same with the other side cap should be open and facing up. All right. Now we simply are going to screw this in. They are identical. So doesn't matter which one you put on either end. And screw that in like that. And you would take a wrench and just snug those up a little bit. Nothing will come leaking out of this. This is a vacuum system. If anything, air would be leaking into it not anything coming out. So, this is the outflow. And that, this is the line that's going to my vacuum pump. So I am going to twist that on, like so. And this is from the sediment trap. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to twist that on using my left hand. And basically, I have now installed this filter into the system. Here is the sediment, the tubing running from the sediment trap into our cabinet where the, the, it continues to go through the filter and through the filter, then it goes down into the basement area where the uh, vacuum pump is. How about you notice they after six months or so, maybe you'll notice a decrease in your vacuum power. What should you check? Well, first of all, you want to check to make sure all your tubing is not clogged. Okay, mine certainly gets clogged here, and uh, that's an that's an easy fix. The second thing is the sediment trap. Is the sediment trap is it is it full? Does it need to be replaced? So you do those two things first and check your vacuum power again. And if it is still weak, you know that you need to replace the uh, filter. And to replace the filter, you just do the opposite of what we've just done. And uh, let's just slide the tubing off the two ends. But now we're just going to put our caps on these, okay? Just going to put the caps on the end of these two things. And now we have it. It's full. It needs to be sent to a recycling center, and that's what we're going to do with that.